Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you part 2 of Ubuntu Grab Menu. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to comment what I should do next. So, as you know, when you boot your machine up, you get this screen. And then, you do not know what to do. Usually, you just type set and then you get your what is currently booting from. But, and then to see what you should do, you press ls to see your options but if you do not know which is the right option you can simply do it by saying ls open brackets and your operating system or your partition or anything that comes here so then you just enter and then you show the file system if it is ex2 then it is a valid partition with Ubuntu, but for instance, if I do ls hd0 ms dos 1 and enter, you will see also it is ext2. But then, uh, if you do ls, if you do a partition that does not exist, hd0 ms dos. 45 then you will see no such partition and for now let us see what is currently set on hd0 it is unknown so that means this is not it is there but it is not ubuntu it should not be Ubuntu, but it's basically referring to my entire hard disk. MS-DOS is telling what is your partition. The HD0 is showing the hard disk. If you have an external hard disk, then the external hard disk will also appear, appear here, but as HD01, and so on. Even if you have a USB stick, because USB sticks are considered as an external hard drive, or a CD, anything would do. Okay? So then, you, if you type set, you see all of the things, cmd path, prefix, boot, and you, there, will, there would also be boot, but then I don't think that is necessary, so you just type set prefix, equals your valid partition, that is a ex2. slash boot and grub this is where your grub file is located so if you get a raw usb stick with the iso you might if you can find a folder you might say boot and grub or if you go to your ubuntu normal place and go in the terminal you can do cd slash and then you might find boot just go check it out grub and then you might see it depending if you are given privileges then set boot equals again you need to hd0 ms dos 16 but this time you do not need uh, your slash boot and grab because it is not required then you do ins mod normal ins mod is like a Another word of saying run and normal is a command saying run normal and then it will take some time and then you would just type normal then you will boot but on the other hand if you just type without setting prefix and boot if you just type ins mod no man you'll be stopped here with the same error you get when you are searching for your file system with ls don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment see you in the next video